Dearly beloved, don't taste the devil's bait at all. Because that single taste may get you completely entangled. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. By the special grace of God, we are continuing the series on the snare of the fowler. And today we're going to be looking at part four. Our Bible passage will be taken from Romans chapter 6, 1 to the end. Is there 23 verses. So it's quite a long one. Time will not permit us to read it here, but read it on your own. It flows. It is the kind of Bible passage that flows. doesn't have genealogies or histories attached to it. Then we are going to take a memory verse from 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 12. Let us pray. Father Lord, even as we are continuing at this name of the Fowler, we pray, Lord, that you give us a sound mind, a mind that is able to withhold, a mind that can exert self-control at all times. Help us, Father King of glory, that we will not taste the bait of the devil at all in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our memory verse, 1 Corinthians 6, 12, it says, All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient at all. Are not expedient all things are lawful for me but i will not be brought under the power of any praise the lord may the word of god continue to bless our lives the lives of the hearers and the lives of the reader in jesus name Amen. Our discussion on the snare of the fowler is going to be centered on the second quality that makes the devil's bait effective. You know, the devil uses bait which are pleasant to the eyes and taste to get people in his trap. If considered a forbidden fruit to be pleasant to the eyes and good for food, when the devil tempted her with it in Genesis 3 6. Presenting sin as if it is pleasant is an old trick of the devil to trap man. And every believer must be weary of it. When a fellow is controlled by physical senses, he or she becomes vulnerable to the devil and his baits. And that is the reason it is necessary that we must be dead to the flesh. We must be able to subdue the flesh and let our spirit take the upper hand at all times. When people are interested in satisfying their flesh, they will not be able to control their sexual desires eating habits, and so on. In a nutshell, such people lack self-control. You know, self-control is something, is a prayer point I recommend for everybody. Pray that the Almighty God will give you the power of self-control. If you're able to control yourself, you know, so many things can easily fall in place. Praise the Lord. One of the dangerous things about the devil's bait being pleasant 
to our taste is that the fellow tastes it once it can become difficult to stop just as we looked at in the snare of the fowler part two the key to avoiding debate is not to taste it at all it may look attractive but you must not go near it at all there is a proverb that says what you should not eat you should not sniff If you can inquire from anybody who had been addicted to something bad, they will tell you that it started with just mere taste once. Let me taste. They tested once and when they saw that nothing happened to them, they did it again and again until they became addicted. Those who are addicted to alcohol usually start out as just a casual drinker who drinks once in a while. From there, they became a heavy drinker and they became people that are described as drunk, non-entities, good for nothing, just for mere this. A mighty man fell to being a person that everyone looks down on. Beloved, is that good enough for you? When it gets to this, in a moment, they say that even in a mad person, there is a moment of sanity. So when that moment that the person snaps out of what is happening to him or her, and the person look back at their life, they regret that first day that they tasted the enemy's bait. If the snare is prepared by the fowler and you stay away from the bait, you will not be caught in it. They say that during the Nigerian Civil War, that a particular site, they had a slogan that they used. And that slogan is the price of safety is unresting vigilance the pride of safety the price of safety is unresting vigilance dearly beloved stay away from the devil's bait as you can run away as know that your entire life depends on it it's not a sieve but your entire life depends on that running run away what is that thing that the devil set for you and you have cling to it don't give an excuse don't sit down wallowing in it because that's what some people do you see them wallowing in year after year and they will tell you that it is the devil it is somebody it is our village people that did it it is these people no you must run and know that your life depends on it Run, get close to your maker. Begin to study the word of God. Begin. But one thing I found out that when people are in, when they have fallen into the bait of the devil and they are wallowing in destruction, you see them running away from churches. You see them running away from the word of God. You see them running away from the places that will make them right. That is the beginning of insanity. My beloved people, when you are in this case, know you that nobody, no damn friend, no classmate, no sister or brother can help you, but the Most High God. 
you must on your own willingly recognize the fact that you have gotten to your limit and it is time to have a U-turn for good. You on your own must agree, not the one that your parents, your mother is forcing you and you'll be drawing back. You must be interested in becoming normal. Go to a, a spirit-filled man of God. And you can also consult a Christian professional counselor to break free from that addiction. Whatever that addiction is, whether it's addiction to sex, whether it's addiction to smoking him, drinking, using drug, marijuana, whatever thing that you are indulging in, anything bad you're indulging in, don't console yourself saying you're not addicted. So far you are indulging in that bad destructive attitude. The truth is that you are addicted to it. Do everything possible to get out of it. Everything possible. Listen to those, your loved ones who are talking to you. Listen to them and do the needful. So that it does not get to the time where you yourself will be looking for help you will not find. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn today is hymn seven. I am dying, O Lord. I am dying, O Lord. I've heard your thing. As you have me. Oh, oh, oh. Let us sing it. I am dying, O Lord. I have heard thy voice. But I learn to rise. But I learn to rise in the hands of faith. And be closer, drawn to thee. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the cross where thou hast died. Draw me nearer, nearer, blessed Lord, to the precious bleed. The inside, dearly beloved, thank you for listening. Thank you for returning to my channels from time to time. Thank you for those who had come into this channel by chance. I know it is not just chance, but you may see it to be chance. But it's the Almighty God that directed you because He wants to minister to you, He wants you to listen and learn something, the tactics that the fowler uses, the snare of the fowler. He wants you to be aware of it. Make use of what you have learned. Share with your friends and family. Give me a like, which is a thumbs up, if you actually grab something from this video. Subscribe if you've not, so that videos like this will be you will be the force to be reached as soon as we drop. God bless you.